Typical. Petra, get me Tim Shaw. Cancel that. What? Cancel it, cancel it. Petra, cancel us request. I think Professor Brennan would prefer it if you told him about this first. But... This has gone beyond a student prank, Finbo. Yes. Yes, you're right. Petra, get me Professor Brennan. Timothy Shaw. What are you doing, Shaw? Um, I was lost, sir. Lost? Oh, dear. I don't like to think of you lost. Philippe, it's him. It's Brennan. Quick. I thought it was the galley, sir. Get out of there at once. Yes, of course. Professor Brennan, good of you to acknowledge our existence. Mr. Gervais. I don't know what you're hoping, but I'm afraid we're not just going to go away. As you can see, Gantry 2 is extensively occupied. I'm hoping, I'm expecting that you'll leave my cabin immediately. And will your people leave our laboratory? Use of the laboratories has always been agreed amicably and flexibly between Columbus and Daedalus. The agreement was that Daedalus could use Lab 5 after college hours. This is an emergency. The molybdenum content of those rock samples... After hours. That was the agreement. And when are my people supposed to sleep? It's our laboratory and we have project deadlines. Life goes on in the real world, Mr. Gervais, while you are playing at it. As Professor Emeritus of this college, your attitude to its primary function leaves a lot to be desired. As a student at Columbus, your attitude is appalling and your manner insolent. Charles, cool it. I suppose that means you'll put me on the Space Commission blacklist, which nobody actually admits the existence of. That boy is too clever by half. If you try to expel Philippe, then you'll have to expel all of us. Don't think I wouldn't. Charles, I want my cabin back tonight. My dear girl, if priorities were to be allocated Look, on the basis of... Look, I am not your dear girl. And if you think you can ration our lab facilities, or anything else for that matter, when this college has provided so many of the postgrads that you've recruited for Deedless, then you're nothing but a two-faced tyrant. Yeah, go for it, Sarah. Oh, well done, Charles. You said you'd sort them out, and you have. I will not be called short-sighted and two-faced by a teenager. It's a privilege to watch such diplomacy in action. Something amusing you, Mr. Lewis? And me? No, 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 no. Deactivate all other access codes on Gantry 2, Mr. Lewis, before they have the run of the place. But that's against safety regulations. Just do it. Petra, access to cabins on Gantry 2 by voice activation only. Captain's code Lima Alpha 493. Confirmed. There'll be no more communications. Negotiating only encourages them. Let them stew up there for a night. Oh, great. So where am I going to sleep? Plenty of empty cabins on Gantry 4. Have you any idea what the temperature's like on Gantry 4? And it's getting colder. Can this be the girl who volunteers for survival training courses on the icy exterior of Callisto? Yeah, in a heated spacesuit, Charles. Do you want me to sleep in a spacesuit? Oh, come on, calm down. Let's not fight. It's been a long day for all of us, eh, Mr. Lewis? If you want to know, I think this is a terrible state of affairs. Really? Something I meant to tell you about, Louis. Hmm? Petra Systems check exterior gantries. You put in a call to Commissioner de Gracie earlier. Do mm -hmm. you know what he happened to mention? Mm -hmm. Only the Lewis has put in for the captaincy of the Ilia. And of course he'd have a go. <laughs> he must be off his head. He's got every right to apply. The man is a born loser. You can't even sort out a gaggle of students. That is hardly fair, Charles. Can we please discuss this somewhere else? Fimbo, will you please use your brains, forget your principles, and stay on the right side of Charles for once? Well, here, I'll try this one. It's Rebecca's room. It's a garden arm and enough trouble as it is. Oh, come on, Tim. She's always got a box of chalk stashed away. Oh, right. Why is 
isn't it working? I don't know. It's a sonic lock deactivating program. It worked on Breland's cabin. I thought there was nowhere on this ship you couldn't go to. Something's not right. Petra opened. Access denied. Access by voice pattern only. They've cancelled the access codes. You mean we can't get in anywhere? Oh, where are we all going to sleep? Food, no beds. Brennan was just so rude. Could he really have us expelled? Not if we stick together. He can't expel the whole college. Anyway, he's totally in the wrong, Anna. And he knows it. So, are we all still in? Yeah. Yeah. No surrender, right, Daniel? No surrender. But what about dinner? We haven't had any dinner. Yes, you have, you greedy boy. It's going to be sacrifices all round. I hope we all realise that. You know, the most terrible events in history have started with some politician demanding sacrifices all round. Don't be clever, Daniel. No, I'll just be quiet and stupid. Maybe if we offered to put the heating on in Gantry 4 in return for some food supplies. No! Look, we're not negotiating. Sorry, Tim, but I really think we have passed the point of no return. It's all or nothing now. Right, Anna? Yeah. Hey, Fimbo, I'm really sorry about tonight. I really wanted to hear about Kathmandu, but what can I say? Things are serious up here, and Philippe is depending on me to keep morale up. Otherwise, things could degenerate real you fast. You mean you're staying up there all night? Couldn't you persuade them not to, Anna? Well, I tried, of course, but when Philippe is angry, there's not a lot you can do, and we all have to make sacrifices for the cause. No talking with the enemy, Anna. Why not, Fimbo? He was perfectly competent on the Achilles G33 trip. He knows the Ilya and he wants the job. And he's a nice fellow, and the nice should inherit the earth. Well? Fimbo is young and keen and he tries. God knows he tries. Oh, I didn't think you'd notice. He's a good first officer. Mm. Adequate first officer. Given enough support, he can cope with command, but he's inexperienced, unpredictable in a crisis. He hasn't got the... Steadiness, judgment. Oh, come on, Charles. Did no one ever take a chance on you when you were young and untested? I always made my own opportunities. Yeah, well, that's what Fimbo's trying to do. Shouldn't he just be judged on his own merits along with the other applicants? You'll never get through the medical anyway. Not with his record of radiation exposure. Yeah, which happened in a line of duty. It's a recurring condition which affects his ability to function. It's not fair. No, oh, it's not fair. Having students crawling all over my cabin isn't fair, either. I suppose you'd better find somewhere to sleep. Come on. Ah, oh, here we are, then. Ken, hi. Hi. This is mine. Yeah, well, only the best for the mother of my child. Daniel. <laughs> well, somebody's got to look after you. I can look after myself. <laughs> I've got Tim. He looks mm. after me, don't you? Go and get a cup of coffee, Tim. Oh, yeah, OK. You've got five sweeteners, isn't it? Really I know, I know. I've just got a taste for something really sweet. Well, let's see what we've got here, then. Daniel. Yeah? What I could really do with is a cheese and pickle croissant with honey dribbled all over it. I could really mm. murder one of those. Would these do? People live in this? No. Only students. Do you remember student life, Charles? I slept in the computer centre most nights. Yes, that figures. Saved on rent. I didn't have it all handed to me on a plate, you know, not like some of this lot. Well, look at all the fun you missed out on. I had fun. I designed a new sixth-generation language in my spare time. Oh, God, I'm glad I didn't know you in those days. <sighs> Come on, let's find somewhere else to sleep. It's colder in here than the club. I'll warm you up. Oh, look at this, Charles. Does this light your fire? <laughs> it takes me back. Nights of passion in narrow student beds. Oh, there you are, darling. You did have fun, after all. <laughs> Good night, Charles. Oh. What's this? Oh, no. Roger Rabbit. You're still angry with me. Go to bed, Charles. I'm tired. Oh, I'm wide awake. Cold stimulates the brain initially, before the shutdown of non-vital functions leads to unconsciousness. Yes, well, the sooner the better. Do a chess puzzle or something. Mm. Mate in four moves, hardly appropriate. Oh, I think I'll sit here and count students. 
the number of students you can cram into an executive cabin. <laughs> Daniel! I'm only pregnant. I'm not ill. Well, being pregnant's a very serious matter. It won't get you anywhere. Got me out of the corridor, didn't it? <laughs> this is all right, isn't it? I'll say. Proper family accommodation, eh? Daniel. If we get married, you know, we could put in a good case for one of these no, cabins. No, not again. Well, you can't bring a kid up in cabin one. Well, that's my problem. Got it? My problem, not your problem. Remember, I'm the father. Please. Listen. I love you. And I want what's best for both of you. They say after your first love, it's never the same again. It gets better, that's all. Your first real love, Danny. Aunt Hurts. You were my first love, Melody. The others didn't matter. I always came back to you. Hey, so this is how the other half lives. I don't believe it. Oh, yes, very nice. Oh, this will do for me. Oh, come on, out. <laughs> out, please, this. come on. Oh, we need out. someone to come, come on, out. out. And you, Anna, come on, out. Oh. Melody. Melody is pregnant, for God's sake. Oh. She needs peace and comfort. Come on, out. Out. Ilya is now 3.93 million kilometres from Iron. Closing speed is 59.6 thousand kilometres an hour. Optimum ILIA intercept occurs in 1.18 orbits at longitude 106 degrees. I don't see why they should have a big cabin to themselves. What happened to equality and all mucking in? If it's one Come on, Fiona. They just need to spend some time together. Yeah, I thought she was going to have the baby on her own. Yeah, well, anything could happen between now and then. Oh, Sarah, you're so romantic. I know. I just think they need a chance to get to know each other a bit. I wouldn't wish Daniel on my worst enemy, let alone my best friend. Yeah, well, you don't know anything about it. I think it's sweet. That's why you're sleeping on the floor. Fiona, what? Come on. They're posting a watch by the maintenance shaft, just in case we try anything. I think one of our sort of stay awake as well. Oh, I'll do it. I'm not very tired. <sighs> yeah, OK, Tim. Watch the lift. If any attempt to mobilise it, wake me at once. And monitor any changes in the life support system. They might try that one again. <laughs> don't worry, I'll know what to do. A little space ninja. Daniel, mm. why are you here? You never even go near the lab if you can help. <laughs> you can talk. The only reason you're here is because Sarah dragged you up. No, it's not. I'm very concerned. I've got to get a good degree so I can get a decent job and look after my baby properly. Melody, I am not going to fail in my responsibilities, financial or otherwise. You? You've been in debt since the first day you got here. <laughs> I've changed a lot since those days. You're always hard up. It's my investments. It takes money to make money. One of these days, I'm going to strike gold. You'll see. It's all a game to you. I can't help it. It was the way I was brought up. Weatherbees are overachievers. Mm -hmm. My father was a professor at the Limoges by the time he was 27. <laughs> it's a hard act to follow. You're lucky you've still got a father. I often wish I didn't. And one thing I'm going to make sure of is that our baby never wishes that. Got it all. No... God, this is ridiculous. Philippe Gervais, if you'd handle this properly in the first place, none of it. Oh, Philippe, hi, it's um, Mercedes. I hope I didn't wake you. Mercedes? It's so 200 hours. Yes, I know, but I'm at my wit's end. You've no idea how cold it is down here. We ha I haven't had a wink of sleep. Sorry to hear that. Look, Philippe, I know it's not your fault, and I, and I actually admire your stand in all this. I'm glad to hear that. Yes, I think students should stand up for their rights. 
Look, Philippe, sweetie, I'm in cabin one, gantry floor. Could you please tell Het Petra to get a little bit of heating down this way? Please. Who's with you? No one's with me. What makes you think anyone will be with me? Look, Philippe, this whole dispute has nothing to do with me. Is Brellen with you? Professor Brellen? No, not, not exactly. Not, not as such. Sorry, Mercedes. He's just leaving. I'll kick him out. Anything. Please just get some heating down here in the name of humanity before hypothermia sets in. Sorry. Listen, you bloody little up. Give that to me. Comsen. Professor Brellen calling Comsen. Petra. Lewis. Have you any idea what temperature it is down here, Lewis? Yes, uh, minus two degrees. You know how cold that is, Lewis? Not incompatible with human survival. The temperature in Kathmandu regularly drops below that. I am not a Tibetan monk, Mr. Lewis. There must be something you can do. Well, these students do seem determined to stick it out. You are the captain. Are you seriously telling me that a 15-year-old boy can outwit you over control of the ship's computer? That's hardly fair, Professor. Tim Shaw is not just any 15-year-old boy, and you did say it was a college matter and you wanted them to sweat it out. Do something, Lewis, or you may spend the rest of your life selling prayer mats to the tourists in Kathmandu. Oh, hello. You don't mind, do you, if I... No, no, go ahead. It's not very comfortable, rather basic. Oh, it's perfect. And I don't know about regulations. Mike Fimber. Oh, right. Petra, review instructions for life support systems on Gantry 4 and reset to a normal cycle. Insufficient privilege. Petra, this is First Officer Fimbo Lewis, acting captain. Engage captain's override code 58932J and reset life support systems on Gantry 4. Current instructions have higher priority. But how can they have? Current instructions are authorized by Fleet Admiral Jonathan Marquez. Who? Petra, he's been dead 30 years. Instructions have been authorized. How did Tim Shaw get an authorization code that some old codger took to the grave? Well, you've got to admire his inventiveness. Professor Brellen calling Comsec. Petra? Lewis, what's happening? Trouble with Brelin is that he's unpredictable. Doesn't behave rationally. Any sensible person would have given up by now. With him, I think it's going to take one more turn of the screw. Yeah, like what? Could we take Comsen Gantry? Oh, well, then we control really? everything. We could lock the labs. If we go near Comsen, they'll look us up for years and years. I know, I've got it. We kidnapped Mercedes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Anna, be serious. I am. If he has one weakness, it's Mercedes. I think if it came to it, he'd leave her to her fate. <laughs> oh, God, I hate you, Charles. If you weren't so pig-headed, we wouldn't be in this mess. Well, it's one night sleep, but it's a matter of principle. What principle? The principle that Charles Brellen always gets what he wants. Mercedes, you are beginning to annoy me. Oh? Never have expected you to go to pieces for want of a few comforts. I never said I was perfect. This is how I am if I don't get enough sleep. Oh. Is there anything else I should know? And you're not so perfect yourself. You're disgustingly cheerful in the morning. Since when has that been a crime? I'd never dream of commenting on your grumpiness yeah, well, in the morning. Well, anyone would be grumpy if they had to listen to your incessant chatter and out-of-tune singing. Oh. Well, I'm sorry it annoys you so much. Let's just call the whole wedding off. Thank heavens we found out about it in time. What do you want me to do? Just get into their silly little demands. No. We need the analysis of those Achilles samples. Oh, my God, Daedalus, it's all I ever hear about. You don't care that those students are going through your personal things, do you? But, oh, no, the Daedalus files. You knew about that from the beginning. You don't care about anything. You don't care about me. Hey, you are everything to me. Yeah? You know, I'd do anything. Give me that duvet. Oh, you're awake. I thought you'd be asleep. I've been thinking. Oh, I didn't mean to disturb you. No, Timmy, don't go. People look so defenseless when they're asleep, don't they? Yeah. 
He's really trying hard, you know. He's really quite sweet when he tries. I couldn't love him the same way as I loved Jean-Francois. But then where did that get me, eh? At least with Daniel, I know all his faults. I know not to expect too much. What do you reckon, Timmy? About what? About Daniel and me, trying to make a go of it? I don't know, Mel. Well, then you didn't have a father for very long, and you haven't turned out so badly. Depends he's asking. <laughs> what are you doing up so late? I'm hungry, Mel. I'm so hungry. I haven't had anything since lunchtime. You had a good supper. No, I didn't. I'm too hungry even to sleep. There must be something left. I feel sort of weak, sort of really strange. Oh, we did rather pig out on everything. I'm going to have a peach. There's oh. a peach there. What else? It's a biscuit, so these are really Wait! Nice. What are you doing? Daniel. Tim. Snatching the food from the mouths of expectant mothers. Yeah, but she said it was all right. I did. did well, it's all? not. Honestly, your own sister, Tim, I'm, I'm appalled. I really am. He said he was hungry. You are far too soft-hearted, Melody. Actually, I quite like the dog watch. It's so peaceful. Watching over a ship of dreaming souls through the night to the morning hour. And the cleaning robots start buzzing around the corridors, and Anna Bagani and Belinda Skinner trot off to their early morning prayer meetings. I have this game I play, guessing who'll be first down to breakfast. I bet it's never me. That's interesting, Rebecca. Someone's coming down from Gantry, too. Patrick, get me Professor Brillum. Oh, God, I don't believe it. I've just got to uh, sleep. What time is it? What is it? Oh, sorry, I was looking for Professor Brellen. God, it's for you. <sighs> Lights! <sighs> it's 3 a.m. What is it, Lewis? That better be good. It doesn't feel any warmer in here. I thought you might like to know that person or persons unknown have left Gantry 2 in the lift and are heading for Gantry 4. I'll look into it. I hope it was all right to call you. No, Fimbo. You... Quite right, Mr. Lewis. <sighs> Oh, aren't you coming with me? Might be a whole gang of them. Must be bad up there. If cold mushroom stroganoff, is that enticing? Look, I couldn't help it. They made me do it. And it was terrible stuck up there. It's been a long night for all of us. Can I go now? That depends on where you want to go to. Look, I only went with them because Melody said it'd be a laugh. But it wasn't. And then they all started talking about sacrifices. Look, I really ought to be going. I tell you what. Why don't we go to Comsen instead? 